Hi there, and welcome back to Station Road. Uh, now, today we're actually going to uh, look at a video that I've been meaning to do for quite some time now, and it is essentially um, just a quick uh, sort of tutorial or a how-to video on how I do line side fencing. Uh, so this is just your standard uh, wooden fence posts with um, number eight wire. Um, so there is obviously many ways of doing it and of course uh, there is also kit set versions of uh, this type of fencing as well. But for what I'll do is I'll just quickly zoom in on an area of the station road layout where I have begun the process of doing some of this fencing but like many other projects on this layout they kind of get started and haven't been finished yet. So here's a wee bit of uh, fencing that I have begun here and um, I actually started this quite a while back and this is as far as I've got. So essentially what we have here is matchsticks and a bit of fishing line. Um, now you probably really can't see the fishing line in there and uh, we've also got the posts down here as well running along here. And then we have some more posts over here. So um, this is, well, it's a project I started a while back. I have yet to still finish it. But uh, today we'll actually just show you how I go about uh, making out the fence posts. And, um, and also we'll actually carry it through to a finished state on the display diorama that uh, I had made some time back. So we're going to use this display diorama here which was from some previous videos where we um, experimented with ballasting. So as shown on the um, previous clip, these are the matchsticks. Um, now they just come in bags. I buy them here locally in Christchurch. Um, you can get them from like any $2 shop. Now I'm not sure what's out there around the globe. Um, it, they're, they're, they're basically shops that kind of sell pretty much anything. Generally usually really quite junky stuff. What else do you need? I am using, um, for the actual wire itself, I'm using fishing line. Now you could use really, really thin wire. Um, and I did give thin wire a go, but um, it's a little bit tricky if you're um, trying to thread it around sort of curves in the fence and things like that. You can potentially actually snap the matchstick. Um, so um, hence why I use this stuff here. Now this is actually really, really thin, this fishing line, but uh, it'll sort of kind of be painted a little bit, so it'll probably bulk it out a little bit. We have here, now this is something that I made up previously and it's basically it's a little jig that I've made up and it is set up to drill three holes through the posts. Um, now of course you could do it, always add more if you wanted to so you could maybe potentially work, you could probably put five holes in there and have five strands of wire. Um, I've just gone for three I know it's not really prototypical but it is an awful lot of holes to drill um, if you're doing a lot of fencing, so hence why I've just gone for three. And um, essentially the idea is you uh, grab yourself a matchstick and you poke it into a wee slot here, and I'll just bring this up a bit closer. So there's the wee hole in the end there, and you slide your matchstick into there right up to the end. And then essentially we're going to pop through a precision drill, uh, hand drill, and uh, go through each hole and drill a hole. And in this way we A, get the, the hole more or less in the center of the post and, um, and they're all equidistant and more or less mostly identical all the same. So um, that's the process behind that. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, drill out all these holes. Um, I have actually gone and pre-drilled holes in here. I don't know whether you can see them. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Um, so I've spaced these 20 millimeters apart. 
uh, can't remember what that sort of works out at, but I think it, it sort of worked out at a, a roughly sort of kind of a prototypical, prototypical distance between posts. And we have got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 posts that I've got to drill. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, drill these posts. So essentially, basically, I've just poked the, the drill through the hole and uh, drill down. And you'll feel it go through the actual uh, post. essentially slide the matchstick out and there you have three holes and we'll just zoom in on this and uh, these are our three holes now you see they're slightly to one side it really does just depend but the jig does work in terms of getting these uh, holes more or less in the center um, this one here it's sort of worked quite close to the edge but um, it really does depend on the actual matchstick. They're not always exactly the same, these matchsticks. Some are slightly thinner, some are slightly thicker, um, but uh, essentially that's the, the process and um, of mass-producing fence posts. So there you can see one that's uh, a little bit more even actually. Um, so I'll just speed through the rest of these and uh, come back when I've got 17 posts. Right, so we've got our um, fence posts all drilled now and, um, and essentially I'm just going through them all and just trimming off um, the excess so we don't uh, necessarily need to be as long as this of course but um, it's good to know that you can vary the length of the um, the post uh, so I'm just using uh, some side cutters here to just chop that off and I'm also just p poking these into the holes because it's actually on here it's a very nice snug fit um, so um, I'm not going to actually worry about gluing these in um, but uh, of course under different situations you probably most likely may need to glue them um, but this is going into a solid piece of uh, pine um, so it's um, in the, the holes that I've drilled pre-drilled in here um, creates quite a nice uh, snug fit so we're just going to trim off all the posts and then poke these into their respective holes now the idea is to sort of get them more or less the same height within the uh, hole and um, you kind of have to be careful when you're pushing these in if they're going into a, into a, uh, a snug fit um, because now that we've drilled these holes through here it has actually weakened uh, the actual strength of the matchstick so you kind of have to be careful pushing them in because these areas here are now not as strong as they used to be and have the potential to snap uh, so you do have to take care inserting these posts. So we'll go through and trim these and um, pop all the posts in. Right, so there we go. Now we have all the posts in and 
as you would have seen through that wee clip there, I managed to break one of them. So as you can see, they are a little bit fragile, but um, of course it's not a problem to make another one up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to thread through the fishing line, and then once that's all done, then I'll go over and uh, paint everything. So um, I kind of feel like it's um, it seems to make more sense to paint everything afterwards, because then the paint is actually going to sort of kind of go over the wires as well, and it will actually kind of, well I'm hoping the paint will kind of solidify around where the holes are and generally just sort of make the whole thing a little bit more sturdy. So uh, that's the uh, idea there. So we'll start threading the fishing line through. Now what I'm going to do, and you can't probably see, or you can possibly just see the fishing line in this video, um, I'm going to tie a knot at uh, one end and then essentially I'm going to thread it through from the, uh, the lowest uh, rung uh, through, then up, then back uh, through the middle one and then back up and through the top one so it's kind of going to zigzag um, up to the top and then I can tie off up the top at this end because um, I definitely think starting from the bottom and working away up to the top would be a far easier than going the other way around. So there we can see uh, the uh, three wires now almost threaded through and I'm just showing you this last one um, which um, of how I do it. So essentially just a pair of tweezers um, to grab the end of the wire and poke it through. And there we have it. So that's basically the process. So, you know, it is a bit laborious, um, but it's um, the end results uh, you know, I think worth it. So as you can see, you might be able to just see there the um, the wire below is comes from the bottom then it loops back up into the middle rung and then of course at the other end it does the same thing so it's essentially one length of wire and it's just threaded backwards and forwards uh, in order to get the three wires um, so um, as I mentioned before you know you could do four holes or five holes um, but then you're just adding a huge amounts of labor intensive work uh, to the process um, and I'm I'm not too overly fussed uh, in regards to um, it not being accurate I mean most vents pose probably are um, possibly even six or seven wires um, in real life um, so um, you know this is just really meant to be a representation um, of line side fencing so um, the next step is I'll just tie this end off and uh, then we're going to get some paint and we're going to sort of go over the whole fence with a coat of paint including the wire as well uh, because I think the, the paint will actually sort of bulk out the wire a bit and also actually help to secure the wire, um, the fishing line actually in place uh, in between when it goes through the holes so uh, we'll get on with that now so uh, we're just going to go over um, the entire fence, including the wires, uh, with a coat of just some very basic um, household acrylic paint. Um, this is just a uh, test pot from a local uh, paint shop. And it's just a very dull, muted brown colour. You know, it kind of resembles, it's very similar to kind of like a, a fence post colour. Um, I'm also going to do the fishing line as well, so I'm just going to go over the whole lot and then afterwards with the fishing line I will go over that with a, well possibly, I think really kind of a greyish black colour um, for, for the actual uh, wires themselves, so uh, that's what we're going to use there and of course some uh, pretty fine paintbrushes as well, so we'll get this going. So if we zoom in on that now, um, I've just done those two posts and the bit of wire in between. And um, and as you can see, you know, the paint work on the wire, or well, the fishing line does actually bulk it out a little bit. It also actually, if you can just see in there, it seals in the um, the holes. So essentially, really, the, 
the wire and the, and the dog is going to bark soon because somebody's come in the driveway and um, and that uh, is the result so I will carry on with this before the dog goes completely nuts so I've just painted up the post now and also the fishing line has had a, just a quick coat of paint over it as well and essentially when when this is all dry it all kind of is going to secure it um, the fishing line into place uh, through the posts so um, there we have it it's you know it, it, to me it looks the part I mean yeah okay there's only three rungs uh, running through there but um, you could always add more if you had the tolerance and the patience uh, to drill more holes and thread more uh, fishing line but um, yeah it's um, you know it's a good method I think for um, producing this stuff and uh, that's the, sort of the end result so uh, there we have it uh, the line side fencing so I certainly hope you found that useful and um, maybe um, it would be interesting to see somebody who takes up the challenge of doing maybe more uh, fence wires through their posts. Um, now we're just going to quickly move on to uh, a wee update for the street scene. Um, it's still not complete, like fully complete, but I thought I would just give you guys a wee update because there's been certainly plenty of interest uh, from that uh, previous video series. So. Um, here is just a wee update from the street scene so there's just a few things that I've added in here uh, I've um, as per a suggestion I've added in a manhole cover and I just don't know you can sort of see it there now that's just simply I just printed that on my printer stuck it on a bit of card cut out a section of road and put a manhole cover down there and uh, and really the other thing that I've sort of worked on or tidied up I should say is the entrance into the railway station um, so um, they were uh, the, the entrances were a bit scruffy particularly around the steps and these um, the walls that go around the steps and a little bit of fencing and so forth so essentially I've just sort of tried to improve that whole area and it certainly certainly made a big difference I think um, so that's where we're at with that there will be other things that I'm going to add there were plenty of great suggestions in the comments so um, bits of um, maybe a little bit of rubbish that's been um, that's floating around that, um, you know but I'd, I'd sort of want to keep it reasonably sort of tidy and and sort of um, looked after and um, yeah there will be a bit more weathering there's also going to be the odd weed that is growing up between um, pavers or in certain corners so um, yeah so there is still little bits and pieces to do so uh, we'll leave it there for now and um, hopefully um, there will be another exciting video for next week. Um, once again, a huge thank you to all the amazing comments from previous videos and in particular some of the last videos that have um, gone up and also the new subscribers that have joined the channel. So uh, yeah, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.